um, thing to do is uh -huh. to plant tomatoes. And you, again, hand selected these. This is that one that you're Look, slicing through there is the purple. Be still my heart. Oh no, is that the red, orange? You go through the three varieties. Because bottom line Just, is I need to tell you this. Look you're at getting this. three pieces, one time or auto delivery. I love this. Honey, this is Cherokee tomatoes. purple. And I'm telling you, there is nothing this one wins all the taste okay. tests. Now there's one little slice. Let me see if I can. Look how beautiful. Not a, there are not a lot of seeds look, in that, my friend. Here. Look, it covers, it the hangs over bread. the bread. This is what it does. So these are my three favorite okay. tomatoes in this collection. This is my only tomato collection that I got. Oh, it is? And so oh, I wanted to bring you the okay. absolutely best ones here. Okay. These are big slicing tomatoes. I ain't got time to fool with the little stuff. Uh -huh. um, I want these and because these, uh, this is how they come. They come nice, in the Ellie pot too. Nice, nice big plants in the Ellie okay. pot. You can plant these as deep as you want because they'll root up the stems. Put one per whiskey barrel, put a tomato cage on it, water it in, fertilize it in, and you're going to have these gorgeous, gorgeous tomatoes. And don't miss out on the tomatoes this season. Well, I'm um, glad you told us this is your only collection so yes. that we know. So that was one. That was the purple uh -huh. that you talked about, um, the Cherokee purple. Yes. Then you told me that the red-orange stripe gets up to two pounds, and that's look, your absolute favorite. Honey, look. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Look how good that is. Can you is. stand yourself? Yeah. Look at this. I know, this but that's is the my kind of tomatoes I want. Because there's not that any mm -hmm. of those, that pithy business yeah. that you see from other tomatoes. Mm -hmm. This is nothing but flavor. Gorgeous, great for salads. Also, think about the color. Gorgeous. This is big rainbow. These can be up to two pounds. Now, okay. let, let's get over here. here. Then we're going to raise the roof now. We don't now. even have enough room Raise here. the roof. We got okay. mortgage lifter right here. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I'm getting ready to redo my Ooh, house. Oh, look how pretty. Look at this. I may have to take out a mortgage <laughs> lifter on it, too. And that one will also look get that. almost two pounds. Correct. These are big mm -hmm. slicing tomatoes. If you like slicing tomatoes, tomato sandwiches, or to make your own pizzas, mm -hmm. or the caprese oh, yeah. salads, um, there's so yeah. many different things you can do with it. But great tomatoes here. These are also available on auto delivery. So if you want these for next season, go ahead and lock in now. Um, but be sure to put a cage on them as soon as you plant these okay. because these are going to get going straight yeah. away. Wait. Full sun. Could I ask a question? Please. Would you mind? Um, so in the ground or in a container? Can I plant these in a container? Either and, way. Okay. And can I plant them in a raised bed? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You certainly can. And then I, just put the cage on the minute I plant them. Uh, the minute and you're you fertilizer. So, so you don't forget. Okay. You'll forget and then it starts yeah, to sprawl around. Gonna... And okay. that's what I that's what I do. I've got my okay. tomatoes in containers right up by, by my back door oh, because do okay. the tomatoes, as you see, are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they look and gorgeous. so uh, they're they're a great uh, uh, visual part of the garden too. Mm -hmm. And I step out my door, they're the tomatoes. I'm not having to, to go over uh, to, to the very back part of the garden to get the tomatoes. I also, like critters this. will stay off of them yeah. if they're you're by your back door. I don't find that critters, my critters, now I knock on wood because now they're going to come back after them. Yes. Um, I'm going to just stay where you are. I'm uh -huh. just, I even love the smell of the, the leaves yes. of, the gar of a garden tomato when you go out there. I mean, imagine having this. You know what was on that plant, what was sprayed on it or not. And you're not going to be spraying anything on it. Yes. So you're not paying any more money for it. And you know, garden tomatoes many times um, have a really thick skin to them. Yes, and you can see on these, mm -hmm. particularly um, all the different things you can do with it, but you can see on this Cherokee purple, see how thin the skin is because yeah. it's juicy all the way to the edge. That is really and the, juicy. the thing about um, mm -hmm. the heirloom tomatoes is that they do have the thin skin. That's why you want to grow them yourself. You get them from somewhere else and they're going to mm -hmm. be bruised and messed up. These are coming right from your garden. And look at this. Look at that. You can slice yeah. them thin, just absolutely fabulous. And I what I like most is I make myself a mm -hmm. nice cheddar cheese omelet in the morning. Then I have sliced tomatoes around the edge of it and I put mm. balsamic vinegar on it. I'm not fancy. I'm like, a, I'm like a, a, a regular kind of person and I don't want anything real fancy. Like, we used to call fancy. them mater sandwiches. Look I remember this. my dad would actually pick them off our tomato plants when I was a kid and bite into them like they were an apple. Well, because they are a fruit. Yeah. Tomatoes yeah. are. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Yes. 
Exactly, um, and I love these. My grandfather mm -hmm. was the first to ship tomatoes in the state of Mississippi, which used You're to be kidding. the tomato capital of the world. They That's shipped so cool. more out of there than anybody else, and we grew up with the tomatoes, and I have always loved them, but these heirlooms, are just fantastic. Philip, I'm going to say something that both you and I were what? talking about, and that is the idea that this is what you pass on from generation to generation. And yeah. I'll tell you this, you talked about your grandfather, I talked about my dad, my daughter, when she got her first apartment that actually had an outside area, she went to the store and bought a tomato plant. You know, and I was <laughs> so excited because I thought, you know, for a 20 year old to care about a tomato plant, she was just so happy with it. This is something you can share with your kids. There's not enough of this going on. And yes. tomato plants are easy, but if I stand at the garden center and I see heirloom tomatoes, I don't know what I'm buying. I'm just, I just buy what says tomato plant. This, Philip, you said, yes. and it will come with a guide. Correct. You, you get three different kinds. Now, will these come in at different times in the garden? Um, yes, they do. And they, they will also overlap. You'll have great tomatoes early in the season, mid season and late season. And the trick is, is uh, when a lot of times it gets of hot, the end of July and yeah. August, and you think you don't go outside, you don't really take care of things. Make sure you do go outside and make sure you water your tomatoes, particularly if they're in containers, oh, that's and so make good. sure you fertilize them and go ahead and tend to them. I pick all the tomatoes. I never leave any ripe ones out there because mm -hmm. once the birds discover the ripe ones, they'll keep coming back. Okay. So I keep all the fruit and bringing it in and I share it with um, my neighbors. And oh, I do too. There you go. I bring it into work. These are so. Aren't they? Mm. It wins the taste test and They're all the heaven. tests. They're heaven. That's... Tell us about the three choices again because well, these are almost gone. They're going very the, quickly. The big Cherokee purple, but this is my only tomato collection. You're going to love these. This one wins the taste test. I love, love, love these. We also have the great striped one, which is the big rainbow. These almost will get up pounds. to two pounds too. This I love in the garden. I, it's it's my go-to uh, when they're out there. And my neighbors, they always want them too. And I said, you're not getting any more. I'm getting the rest of them. <laughs> and then mortgage lifter, which is if you like a big, big red tomato. This is the big mortgage lifter red tomato. And this is what you can expect. This is what they do. And pots tomatoes in the ground. perform full sun. The more sun you give tomatoes, the more fruit you're going to have. Philip, we heard you when you said this is it for your tomato plants That's for it. the season. So <laughs> 1,600 now. A couple of minutes ago it was 700. So okay, they are going then. very, very quickly. Make sure